look at these two early in the morning reading together. They're so cute. There's Ryan. Make sure to check out his YouTube channel. Ryan and Taylor in the woods. Come on, let's get our apron. Alright, Mama has her apron. Upside down, and normally I would, I, I'll just let you wear it upside down. <laughs> Hold on. Let's put the dishes away. <laughs> All right. Let's sure put it away first. So here we are putting the dishes away. This is something that takes a lot of practice on her part and a lot of patience on my part. So I'm just going to show you how we do it and hope maybe you will try it with your little one. It is very helpful to start them out helping you as early as possible. Thank you. This morning, Cora Jean was drinking the milk from the cereal. Oh, it's okay, you've got it. That we we eat cereal together every morning. Her either me or her dad eats cereal with her, and she gets the milk at the end. And she just she was doing it with a spoon, and I thought it was good spoon practice. Sweet baby, hey hey hey. You can do it. Maybe you should go around the other way. Okay. If you go around, then you can reach more. Thank you for the fork. And, but now she's figured out that if she just picks the bowl up and, and drinks it that way, then it, it's a lot faster. Oh my. Thank you. Sweet baby mama needs those. Thank you. Hey, where are you going with that basket? So when we first started putting the dishes away together, she would just stand and, and hand me the silverware. 
and she would do it for a little while, but she wouldn't do it for very long. And um, she really likes to stamp on the door, so I can't let her do that. But she also likes to play with the water that gets in the bottom of it. Ah! Oh no, you got trapped. Here, let's put it, put it back. There we go. Hey, I need that. Thank you. The basket stays in the dishwasher. No, sweet baby. The basket stays in the dishwasher. Cora Jane, bring it back. Um, this whole going around the island is new. She's never done that before. So I don't really know what she's doing. All right, sweet. We leave the basket in the dishwasher. It stays there. Can we get this bowl out? Oh, our feet stay on the floor. And I usually try to tell her what I want her to do, not what I don't want her to do. So if she's climbing on something, I tell her that she needs to keep her feet on the floor. Feet on the floor, sweet baby. Um, things like that. All right, and she helps me bring the stool in. Okay, sweet. Here we go. And this, um, I think it's called a learning tower. I'm not sure, but I'll put a link to the description. I just got it on Amazon. But, um, so she uses that to get up here. And I guess, I, I just don't think that it would be good to use when we're putting the dishes away. But it's great for this. And so I just take all of the dishes that... I don't want her to have access to and I put them over in this sink and then all of the dishes that I'm okay with her playing with I put them in this sink and I fill it up with some water She really likes to play in the soapy water with the dishes. And I've got her her own little piece of a sponge. And this is just good practice, good see seeing what I'm doing. And it makes it so that she doesn't scream the whole time I'm doing the dishes, which is what she used to do. She, she usually ends up getting water all over the place, all over herself, all over the floor. But that's just part of letting her learn, I guess. Making messes. Sometimes she'll wash uh, one of her plates or something with her sponge. She'll, she'll act like she's washing it. But most of the time she just plays around and makes a mess. It's her favorite thing to do. So a lot of the dishes that I give her are actually her dishes. So um, many of them are plastic. They're like her little plates, um, but I will give her like a spoon that I've used for cooking, something like that. Um, but I, I don't give her anything glass. I try not to give her anything that's like too much of a bowl. She does have one right now, but um, otherwise she will dump it all over the place. Um, and... When I first started sweeping, you don't need that. Your dishes are over here. Um, she went through this phase where she was throwing the dishes onto the floor. And so I had to start 
uh, get, letting her get down and get them. Now, she, she doesn't really climb down off of this stool by herself yet. She just doesn't feel comfortable doing it. And so I have to help her. But I, so I would, I would pick her up and tell her that the dishes go in the sink and then she would go down and pick up the dish and bring and we would come back up here and she would put it in the sink. And we did that every, every time she threw something down. We had to do that for a couple of days, um, a few times a day, but then she got the hang of it and she doesn't normally throw them down on the floor anymore. And if she does, then it, it doesn't seem to be on purpose really, and she wants to go get it. Clean the counter. Here. All right, so Cora Jean does not want to transition from doing the dishes. It turns out she was tired and I put her down for a nap right after this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens. She does end up um, hitting me repeatedly in the face and I will show you how I take care of that. She starts hitting me because she doesn't want me to take her away from doing the dishes, but she quickly realizes that it's actually pretty fun, even though I am telling her that I don't like it. And so what I end up doing is quickly setting her down on the ground so that it's a little bit jarring to her, and that lets her know that she is not allowed to treat me that way. Corgi. Ow. Ow, sweet thing. I don't, I don't like that. Mama doesn't like that. That's not nice. So I'm here with my nephew Ryan. Hi. And Corgine, and we are going to the library. I just wanted to show you this really cool bear carving that we have at our library. He's really big. Yeah, he is. All right, let's go in the library. All right, guys, so when you first walk into the library, there's this really cool display they made for Band Book Week. And so they put these little labels on the books that tells what they're banned for. And they're all wrapped up so you can't see what the book is. And I picked this one. Banned for profanity, disrespect for adults, and an elaborate fantasy world. So I cannot wait to see what this book is. You check it out. They left the barcode. And so you, you check it out first before you see what the book is. Pretty cool. Alright, so here's Cora Jean. She's going to pick out her books. I just let her um, pick books off the shelf. And I either get them most of the time I just get the ones that she picks out but sometimes she pulls too many down and so I have to choose but I let her pick out her books so let's see what she's got so far I'm not reading hmm. 
I'm not reading. Oh, it's got chicks. Little baby chicks. Yeah. Does that look like a good one? Is there something else? Oh, yeah. That's about the donkey. She first, she picked out this one. We'll definitely get that one. And Ryan's scanning the shelves for his book. This one looks interesting. I might grab this one for the Books with Becky channel. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hey guys, so here is my band book I got from the library. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Bridge to Terabithia. That's so interesting. This book was banned for... It was banned for, um... Profanity, disrespect for adults, and an elaborate fantasy world. Bridge to Terabithia. One of the best children's novels of our time. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Um, okay, so I am going to be reading this book on the uh, Books with Becky channel, and I will put a link in this video once I have done that. So I was doing some gardening, and I told Cora Jean to go get her own shovel because she was trying to take mine, and I guess she decided that it would be more fun to sit and play in the sand with her shovel. So this is what she did while I was gardening. You see the squirrel? It's that same squirrel from yesterday. He's trying to get a drink. All right, I'll see you next week. Have fun. Life's better that way. Mm -hmm.